think we're on. Let me double check. Let's get us on here. I'm just going to get signed up to Facebook so I can see who's with me today. I hope everyone's okay. Let's have a look. So as you can see, I'm just going old school today with Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, let me just open this up. So yeah, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to use Facebook Live just to do my videos until we move. So I've realised um, the internet's not good enough in my kitchen. So hopefully my new place, I will be able to um, set up our cameras so you can see me from all angles. We've got comments. So hello to my chefs today. Hi guys. So I hope everyone's okay. Um, I'll check in with comments and see who's with me soon. So you requested some workout meals. So today that's what you're going to get. I'm going to do a post-workout butter ball. So butter balls are so simple and it is my go-to thing really because you can mix up lots of different things into one meal. It's not really a set thing. So before we get into it, I'm going to see you with me today and then we'll talk about what we need to focus on for our meal. So we've got Colleen. Hello, Colleen. I've got my sister. Hi, Mandy. And hey, Justine and Sue. And my mum's in the house. Good morning, mum. Afternoon. Uh, Jane. Uh, Dave's going to be doing admin for me today, so she'll tag any questions and she'll also help me out with comments if I need it. And not Jenny Rocket, Colleen. So we've got a 90s vibe clue today under my rainbow. My drawing's a bit iffy, so if you don't get it, I won't be offended. Um, but the name of this cartoon character is also the name of a vegetable that I will be using today. There's your clue. There's <laughs> your clue. I'd be so impressed if you get it. <laughs> uh, it's not me, Justine. It's not me. So I think this cartoon would have been on in America. Um, yeah, I'm sure it was. So you should know this. Uh, hello, Catherine, today from Zurich. Yay, Annie, you're going to cook along today. And Justine, oh Justine, are you cooking along today? I think Justine, were you the one that requested some workout meals? We've got Denise, hello Denise, Bridget, and Claire, and Mama Denise. <laughs> so, let's talk post-workout. So I am not a nutritionist, I am not claiming anything that isn't common knowledge, however, I am married to a sports nutritionist. So I do have a little bit of insight into the do's and don'ts of what we should be doing. Um, so I'm not gonna get technical, I'm not gonna get scientific, we're gonna keep it simple. But really, the things we need to work uh, focus on post-workout is replenishing our body. So it's gonna depend on the type of um, activity you're doing, as in the how strenuous it is, how long you've worked out for, um, how much you've been sweating, there's lots of things to take into account. So I wouldn't have this meal if I've just gone and done some light exercise. Um, if I've done that, I'm going to come home and I'm probably just going to throw together a protein shake, if that's what I want, um, or a smoothie bowl. This is kind of um, more of a recipe that if you've been working hard. So for me personally, at the moment, I am trying to get into running. And to help me keep consistent with my running, I've signed up to um, a great run challenge. And I think this is only in the UK. Um, so this month I have to run 100 kilometers. And I'm past halfway through, we're up to 55 kilometers and I'm keeping going. So running is my main thing at the minute, but we do throw in some strength training as well. We just use our, um, some weights and stuff in the house. Um, so mixing in running, strength training and yoga, I try to be active every day. 
Um, so I'm really conscious of the things that I'm eating. Um, for me, when I am running, um, I have to be really focused on the food that I'm eating before a run. Um, I can struggle with kind of IBS symptoms whilst I'm running. Um, and this is something I'm trying to get to the bottom of and investigate. So um, pre-workout for me, I would have a really simple snack. It might even just be a banana, um, if it's close to my exercise. Um, if it's earlier on, so normally I tend to have overnight oats for my breakfast. So if I'm gonna have my overnight oats, I'm not gonna go and do a run. I'm gonna give it at least two hours before I go and exercise. Um, that's personal to me, some other people might be similar to me, but really, pre-workout, you wanna keep it with your simple carbs. Nothing too heavy, light, you want that um, quick burnover, so things like a banana are the perfect snack to have before you um, before you go out. <laughs> just check. No, so we've got enough, Justine, it's not rocket. Can I turn it around a little bit to show you? I don't know if this is going to bring it closer. <laughs> I used to watch this cartoon when I was little. I'm just going to check the view once this settles. I used to watch this cartoon when I was little. Let me just check if I can see you. It's not me, Can. It's not the cartoon version of me. I don't have curly hair. I wish I did have big volume hair. <laughs> Denise, mental workouts are always good. <laughs> Walking is working out, Justine. That's all good. So, this is all about packing in those foods that are going to replenish us. So, if you've been working out hard, whatever it might be, you're going to want to hit protein and you're going to want to um, have things like sodium. So, we're going to replenish the fluids that we've lost, sodium is going to help you absorb that water um, and take it all back on. So, it's not Flash Garden. I'm sorry, my drawing is probably really bad. <laughs> uh, it's not from recess, but it's the same, um, the same genre. I'm trying to think if the cartoon was on Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. One of those two. I don't... I don't think it was a Disney cartoon. So it's Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. <laughs> yes, Colleen, you've got it. Pepper on. <laughs> oh, I'm so impressed that you got that. So yeah, because we're going to be using our peppers today. So our peppers are going to pack in those that vitamin C. Um, anything extra over the protein and the sodium and the complex carbs is just an addition. So with this meal, you're going to want the, if you, when you're protein, I'm using tofu. You can use beans, you could use lentils. I'm gonna use quinoa for my grain, so you can substitute that with any grain just for an extra bit of protein. And then for the sodium, I'm using soy sauce. Um, everything else is just an extra to bump up our yumminess of the Buddha bowl. It's as simple as that. When it comes to, <laughs> Colleen is, sorry, I'm interrupting myself because I'm just saying, day Colleen is, the ultimate pro at our rainbow characters. <laughs> yeah, I was singing the theme tune a little bit whilst I was drawing it. I love, Dave, you inspired me this morning, you did uh, Blossom. I love our 90s cartoons. Should we get going? So if you are cooking along with me today, pop the kettle on, because you're going to want some boiling water for the quinoa. So just pop that on now and get your oven preheated, oh, sorry I should have put this on the post, get your oven on to 180 degrees, so 350 Fahrenheit, gas mat 4. So whilst you are doing that, let's prep our quinoa. So you need to, I've already popped my quinoa in the pan and I've rinsed it. So if you haven't done that, you just go and do that now. I'm going to take my time so it won't rush. So wash your quinoa, half a cup into your pan. So just a half a cup measure into the pan. So this is going to serve two people. Um, instructions, follow the instructions 
on your quinoa, but it tends to be two parts water to one part quinoa. You're going to boil it for 10 minutes and then you're going to just leave, turn the heat off, leave the pan on and let it settle. So that's all we're going to do. We'll pop it in, uh, pop the water in, then we'll pop it onto boil, set the timer off. I'm going to set the timer off today because I always forget to do it. Set the timer off and then once the timer goes off, I'm just going to turn the heat off, leave the lid on, I'm not going to take it off and then we'll leave it till we're ready. Also, just want to say about this meal, you can eat this hot or cold. So for me, I'm going to make this now and then I'm going to go out for a run and then I'll be ready for when I come back. This is quite a lot of work to do, so like I said, I'm going to do this for every workout. Um, I want to go for a decent run today, so I want something nice for when I get back. Also, it's a bit of a reward, so if you know you're coming back to something nice, for me personally, I'm going to exercise a bit better. So, I've already boiled my kettle the day before the um, video started. So, I've got half a cup of quinoa in here, so I'm going to do one cup of water. Nice and simple. Let's move that out of the way. I'm just getting those little bits off the side that I've stuck. So I'm just going to put it on a high heat whilst it starts boiling and then I'll turn it down to simmer. This one, so let's just let that to start to boil, but because the water is hot, oh, I'm going to set that off to throw it in. Um, so 10 minutes on, that'll be boiling any second because like I said, I've just boiled the kettle. So, I put optional frying pan for this recipe. So we're going to pop the peppers in the oven. If you want to, you can put the tofu in the oven with the peppers. Um, I'm choosing to do it in here because I'm going to fry the tofu off with some garlic and ginger. So if you pop that in the oven, it's not really going to take the flavour on. So it's up to you if you would like some plain tofu, which also works nicely. We've got the tahini dressing. I just want to add a little bit of extra flavour because we're not going to marinate it. So we're going to just coat it with some garlic and ginger, nice and simple and then throw that into the uh, into the mix so it's up to you we'll pop the peppers in now um but it's up to you if you do want to bake your tofu pop that in as well um so with the peppers i've got two half peppers left over so this is why i just chose to do this so what we're going to do we're going to do a mix of cooked and raw ingredients um because kind of that's how it is in a butter bowl. We're going to mix the textures up um, and to keep the flavours different. So by roasting our peppers, we're going to make them nice and soft. We're going to change the texture, but it's going to bring out some sweetness. But you want a quite big chunk, so not too small. Maybe about, I don't know, about two centimetres wide. Let me just chop around this top bit. Can you eat pepper seeds? Um, I actually don't know the answer to that. I mean, I kind of do eat them by accident because I don't normally just knock them out. If there's some on there, I leave them on. <laughs> so I do eat them a little bit, but I don't know if it's something that you would eat. Not too sure. Does anybody know? So I'm just going to keep them quite big because we're just going to pop them in the oven and we're just going to leave them there. So I'm not going to add anything to it, no oil. Um, I just want the vegetables to steep for the salad. You want things to be crispy and fresh um, when, when you're enjoying your post-workout meal. So by keeping these bigger, we're still going to keep a little bit of texture and we can leave them in the oven for a little bit longer uh, without worrying about them. So, pop them onto a baking tray. I'm going to keep them onto the greaseproof paper because I don't want them to lose too much moisture. Um, yeah, can use whatever syrup you've got because that's only just to bring a little bit of sweetness into the tahini dressing so you're not going to really taste it. So, spread these out. If you want to, bake your tofu, pop it on now. So you should have cubed it, pop it on and it'll be ready to go. So I'm just going to pop this in my preheated oven and then we're going to put the fryer 
same pad. Not that one. I'm going to put it on to a low medium heat. Um, yeah, so they're not poisonous, thanks Dave. Oh, I've left two pieces of pepper. So let's do our tofu. So um, I did say one pack of firm tofu, so we've got 200 grams. Um, but I've only got half left, so I'm just going to do half of the uh, tofu for this. So you're going to cut it um, into strips, pieces like this first, so about a centimetre wide. And then again, we're going to cut it down about a centimetre. So we're going to create about centimetre cubes. And all I've done with this is taken it out of the packet. I haven't really drained anything so it's still quite moist so when we fry it off we're going to kind of get a crisp edge but we're going to keep a little bit of moisture in there so that's just going to go straight into the pan if your pan is really hot be careful when you put your tofu in if there's some moisture and you've got a little bit of oil um, it can start to spit so because we're going to just keep this cooking and not do not have it on a high heat if anything, you can have it too low and that's fine. So I'm just going to keep it medium low just while it heats up and then we will knock it right down and we'll carry on with what we're making. So when it comes to the garlic and the ginger, you can chop it, you can grate it or you can mash it. I love using my pestle and mortar. So I'm going to choose to just crush it in here and then just add it into my tofu once it's cooked a little bit. So like I said last week, just because of my pans, even though they're non-stick, I just added a little bit of oil in um, just to help to prevent it from sticking. So garlic and ginger. Two cloves of garlic, you can use as much or as little garlic as you want. It is dead. It wasn't expensive, it was just a Amazon because I ordered one. The first one I ordered was tiny. <laughs> um, so then I invested in this. It, was, it wasn't expensive at all. Maybe about 15 pounds. So I've got two cloves of garlic, they're just going to go straight in. Um, Again, like I just said, as much or as little as you want. Because we're going to cook it off, I'm going to use fresh garlic over ginger. Over ginger. Over powdered garlic. So, ginger. We're just going to scrape the skin off with our spoon. And then we'll throw that into. Depending on what I'm cooking, um, I don't always take the skin off ginger. Uh, because I buy organic, so I don't need to worry about anything being in the skin. But because I want all of that lovely juiciness to come out of the ginger, I'm going to just take it off. doesn't matter if there's little bits off. And when you finish cooking, you will have ginger and garlic left in the pan, so it's up to you if you want to scrape that into your bowl. Um, it's just going to add a subtle flavour to your tofu. Can you share the link in the group later? The link for what? what what's I said? I'm just like, why are you telling me what link? Where the link it is, I will share it. <laughs> right, so let's turn that down. So this is on the lowest heat now. Oh, yeah, I'll have to find, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'll try and find it. Um, I've had it a few years, so I'll have to look 
back through my orders if you can do that. It was definitely from Amazon. So you're going to crush this up, like I said, if you want to grate it or chop it. You go for it. <coughs> Anyone that's cooking along, just let me know how you're getting on. salad so I've already peeled my orange 
And I think you already said you didn't have an orange, so again, don't worry, it's fine. Um, so, I've already peeled the orange. You're going to want to make sure that we've not got too much of this white skin left. It's all right if there's bits. If you want to, you can cut off down the line of the segment and peel it. I'm not going to, oh pineapple would work, lovely Patricia. Anything just fruity and a bit juicy. I'm actually allergic to pineapple so I don't use it a lot. I think actually it's okay when it's cooked. Um, but if it's not sweet enough it gives me ulcers in my mouth. So if you, like I said, if you want to, you can take the skin off, but I'm just going to roughly chop each segment. So we've just got little pieces of orange. Once this is ready, we're going to pop it in and mix it through. <laughs> yeah, Colleen, definitely freestyle. I love it when you freestyle. Make your recipes your own, get creative, and just try things out. Like this with the orange, I thought, oh, I wonder how it works, and I really enjoyed it. And it was so refreshing. I'd just been for a run. Um, my husband had been out on his bike, and I made this, and it was just so nice. And it's really simple, and there's no big flavors in here, um, but they all just seem to complement each other which is what you want when you get a nice balanced meal and you've got your textures and your colours and there's creaminess it just brings a nice harmony to the dish um, let's just move this around So I'm going to, whilst it's not too crispy, and we've still got some, of, so this is crisped up, but this is still, should warm, it's not crisped up. So if I sprinkle this tofu, uh, tofu, if I sprinkle the soy sauce on now, we're still gonna get the tofu absorbing some of it, and we're not going to lose too much through the heat. The pan is on the lowest heat it can be. So, I, shouldn't lose too much through the steam and through it sticking to the pan. So let's have a look. Let me just double you check your comments guys. I want to make sure. Um, Justin, you've burnt your quinoa. <laughs> what have we done? I burnt the pan. How do I clean a burnt pan? So you can with a burnt pan, it depends so is the quinoa stuck to the pan, Justine? Did you run out of water? Is that what's happened? Is it burnt on the inside or the outside? What has happened? As long as you're okay, don't worry about it. You saw my disaster with this pan last week. I have a love-hate relationship with this pan. Um, and sometimes after I've cleaned it, they can become... So like this now, I'll just flip that around, we can see that we're getting this um, brown patch where it'll just start to stick. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Just to go with the flow with what we've got. So, half a teaspoon. Pop it in. Make sure that tofu is touching it before it disappears. Mm -hmm. and it's as simple as that. If you want to sit your tofu in the soy, the soy sauce before you cook it, that's also fine. I'm not too bothered about it going directly in because, we've, like I said, we've got it coming in. Um, we've got it coming in through other parts of our dish. I'm going to mix it into the quinoa, I'm going to mix it into the tahini. So that tofu is just going to sit there now, that's done. We don't need to worry about that. So let's make our 
to heat it and then we'll check the quinoa and we'll mix everything through. So, tahini. Justine, am I okay to carry on? You said we've got some... Um, we've still got some quinoa. If you leave it soaking whilst we carry on. Um, and then we'll help you with some tips on how to clean it. So, in my bowl... So I haven't got any glass balls left, I'm packing up so my kitchen's getting a bit random at the minute next week it'll be even worse. Great Justine, thank you. So let's carry on, let me know if you need me to repeat anything, okay? So in my bowl I've already got my one and a half tablespoons of water, so that's already in there. Tahini, I've got a light tahini, it doesn't matter what you've got. So this tahini is quite runny. If you've got raw tahini, it's going to be quite thick. Um, so once you've added your lemon juice and your maple, taste it. Mm -hmm. And um, you might need to add some more water, but you might choose to add more lemon juice or more maple just to get that flavour through. Your tahini dressing is going to be flavoured by your palate. So you might want to add a little bit of extra soy sauce. You might want to make it sweeter. You might want to make it a bit bitter. You just adapt it to how you want. This is quite a, quite a balanced flavour. Nothing really sings, maybe a little bit sweeter. Um, nothing really sings over the tahini too much. So, tablespoon and a half of tahini. Into my water. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork or a spoon. Tablespoon and a half, roughly. I didn't used to be a tahini lover, but I absolutely love tahini now, and I love, I'm gonna just turn this tofu off. I absolutely love throwing the tahini dressing on any salad. So let's go in with all of our ingredients before we do anything else. So a tablespoon of maple, no, a teaspoon of maple, mm -hmm. or whatever syrup you've got. And then roughly a teaspoon of lemon juice. Um, I've just got this little wedge left, so it's probably going to be a little bit more than a teaspoon, but I'm, oh, but I'm going to pop it in anyway. So lemon juice in. I'm just gonna have a little peek at my peppers and they are looking perfect. Check the peppers. If you need to turn the oven off, turn it off because we're gonna start to assemble now. So everything is on up soy sauce and a half a teaspoon of this. Everything is in and you're going to whisk it together. So I'm just gonna show you as you start to whisk it, it doesn't look very nice. I hope you can see this here. And it's going to look like it's curdled. Just keep going. Keep whisking. And it will come together. So, like I said, depending on what tahini you've used, you may need to add a little bit more liquid. Um, you'll notice as you add some water, it'll become lighter. Don't worry about that. You want it so you can drizzle it over top of the salad. So it doesn't matter how thick it is, as long as it can drizzle. Hope you can see this. Sorry, I normally have glass bottles. But you can see that that can pour around now. So that's perfect. That's done, easy. The quickest dressing you can make. Um, you can mix, swap out your tahini for peanut butter if you want to, make a bit of a peanut butter, um, a peanut dressing, whatever you want to do. So, I'm just going to move tofu out of the way. 
We're going to get our quinoa. So this quinoa should be nice and fluffy. I'm going to mix this in the pan. So Justine, if you need to, just pop your quinoa into a bowl, whichever you can use. I'm going to mix this in now. So our quinoa, the grains have popped open and it's nice and fluffy. So straighten with the orange. Just wipe my hands, straighten with orange and pumpkin seeds. So about two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds are a generous pinch. And mix that in, and then we'll add the last bit of soy sauce. If you don't want to use soy sauce or tamari, you can add in a little bit of salt and pepper. So when it comes to the salad, because this is going to be a little bit salty, that's why I chose the rocket. So the rocket's got a nice peppery taste to it to contrast the salt. So we've got some sweet elements, we've got some creamy elements, we've got some salty elements, we've got some peppery elements. You could use chilli to bring in a bit of contrast. I've missed what to do with the ginger. So the ginger went in with the... Um, tofu. So I, I mashed up the ginger with the garlic and, it, and I've cooked that off with the tofu. So if you've missed the ginger now and you are part way through cooking, you can either stop what you're doing and add it in now and just cook it off a little bit or you can just omit it. Don't worry about it, it's just an extra bit of flavour. So, our quinoa is ready. So let's Prep some salad. I'm just going to pop that lid there. And um, let's pop these spoons here. Make a bit of space. And then we'll prep our salad and then we can serve it. I'm just going to grab some red cabbage. but whatever salad stuff you have available pop it in so I'm gonna do some red cabbage I've got a tomato left over I've only got half a spring onion so I'm gonna use this up um, and then I've just got the last bit of rocket that's left so it's seen better days but I'm gonna eat it I'm gonna use it because I absolutely love rocket so whatever salad you have whatever lettuce you have if you've got spinach you make this salad component whatever you want it to be. So this is going to be our raw element to our dish. So we can mix it up into the bowl before we add it on. So the spring onion I'm going to add into the salad. I'm going to sprinkle this on last as the garnish. So let's get some fine slices of red cabbage. And then we're going to slice that up into small pieces. <laughs> Just seeing you've got an excuse to buy some new pans now. I can't wait till I can go and get some new knives. Well, a new knife. I want to be able to hold it to see if it's the right one for me rather than just ordering one offline. But I desperately need a good knife, hence my cut. If your knives aren't good like mine, you need to take your time when chopping. Don't feel like you've got to rush. Do silly things like me. Nearly chop your finger off. So, I'm going to slice that and just slice my tomato. So whatever you've got that you're going to add onto your salad, 
prepare it now and we will finally slice this but like I said I'm going to pop this on top. So let's just pop this here in a second. I'm going to get a bowl out, I'm going to add all these things in and then I'll pull the peppers out and we'll add that in. Add that on. So remember, my tofu is half a pack, so I would have this as one serving. Um, we're going to split this quinoa into half. So this is a nice big dish. So these, these grains are going to make you feel full for long. Um, we're going to get our protein, we've got our, so our soy sauce to help us rehydrate when we're going to keep drinking lots of fluids. So let me just unstick this. So don't worry if some little crispy bits of ginger and garlic fall in. Because we've kept it on a low heat and nothing is burnt. I'm just going to use my hands because it's cooled down. So when I make a butter bowl, I like to kind of section things off. So I'll pop the grains all underneath. But I'm still going to leave a little section so you can see it. So tofu in. Then your salad. Let me just pull you over here a little bit, I think. Let me just check so I can see. Does that help a little bit? I'm gonna lift it up anyway once it's done, guys. Salad in. Sprinkle some red cabbage. And then just move this and then we're going to pull those peppers out. We'll just pull these peppers out. We'll lay them on. Oh, we're going with jokes now. <laughs> just saying you were responsible for the jokes after yesterday, weren't you? So our, no, this isn't tofu. So our peppers, we've started to brown. So we're just going to lay them on. So I'm going to save some of this and I will make a different salad later. tomato in. I'm just going to put two in because this is quite a big tomato. And then whatever toppings you want to add on. So for my toppings I'm going to have the, uh, the dressing and then we're going to have the uh, spring onion and a little bit of chilli flakes. You could add some extra protein again and uh, pop some seeds on there. So I've got some hemp seeds out, but we've got the seeds in the quinoa as well, don't forget. So let's drizzle the dressing first and then we will add the extra bits on top so we're not hiding them under the dressing. So drizzle your tahini on. So this will be enough for two bowls, this guys. I'm not going to pop all that on. Some hemp seeds. Spring onions. And I like to put chilli on everything, so I'm going to pop a few chilli seeds on. And this will be waiting for me when I get back from my run. So I'm not going to eat this now. 
but if you have made it now, it's delicious to eat straight away. And some chili flakes. There we have it guys, that's it. That's your protein packed butter bowl. So get creative. Don't feel like it has to be exactly how I've said it. You, as long as you've got your protein and your greens and we've got some veggies in there, you're going to be all good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. Those of you that cooked along, thank you so much for cooking along. I hope you enjoy your lunch. And there you have it. You've got a post-workout meal ready. So maybe get some workouts done, eh? Let's inspire each other. It is colourful, Denise. I love... I'm just going to pop you back while I look at your comments. I love colourful meals. Let's have a look. <laughs> Justine. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. You're welcome, Jane, and thanks, Day. So, Day shared my um, Pinch of Kindness blog, so I've been a little bit quiet on there lately, but I'm going to start um, popping things on there again. So, yeah, you can follow me at Pinch of Kindness um, on Facebook and Instagram, and check out my blog, Pinch of Kindness. Um, dot com. And I'm so glad you like the quinoa, it's so nice, isn't it? Um, I hope you enjoy your lunch, Annie. Thank you so much for cooking along today, guys. And there we have it. Our, it's a rainbow butter bowl as well, isn't it? We've got pretty much all the colours in there. So there you have it, guys. That's your post-workout butter bowl. And I will see you next week. Um, the week before I move, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it'll be quite a simple recipe next week because my kitchen's going to be pretty much packed up. But we'll still do something. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, it's been a pleasure. And I will see you all next week. Have a great week, guys. <laughs>